Hey guys, so today I am going to show you what my mom sent me from South Korea. The package actually came in last night and I couldn't wait so I had to open it, but I will be sharing with you what I got. Come Nanny, come say hi. Oh, sweetie. She recently went to South Korea to visit my grandparents and my other relatives that live there and she came back with a big box of gifts and mailed it to me. <laughs> Here it is. Um, I did my makeup using liquid foundation and used a darker foundation for um, kind of like contouring. It was my first time and I like it because it doesn't make my skin feel dry or I don't see my skin flaking. But the only issue I have is when I went to go put on blush, this side came out really nicely, but this side got a lot of, kind of got blotchy. If you have any recommendations on how to avoid doing that, because that's my pet peeve, please comment below and give me some ways to um, have that not happen again. But my friend recently gave me this oops, sampler pack of Tarte foundation. Um, and for my face, I use this middle one, light medium sand, and then for kind of like the contouring on my um, cheeks, I use the tan honey. It feels healthy and not dry, so I do like it. I feel like the process took longer than when I just use a powder foundation and a powder bronzer. Um, but I might keep giving it a try and see if I get better at applying um, liquid makeup and see if I prefer that. Without further ado, let's move on to what my mom sent me from Korea. The first thing I want to share with you is this gardening, lamp, garden, gardening lamp. Um, this is really interesting because I had no idea what it was. But if you can see on the back here, it shows you... It's kind of like a night lamp that you put in your bedroom. Um, let me open it up. And apparently my cousins bought this for me, which is so nice of them. Um, okay, so you have this little USB cord which is attached to this thing that kind of looks like a calendar. And you plug it into... A charger and this lights up yellow or kind of like a you know orangey nighttime color and based on your mood you can change the plant in your room and just have it illuminate your bedroom so that's really cool um, and then he got so when I say we my boyfriend and I Got a lot, a lot of socks. Um, mine are very, very cute. And my boyfriend's are just one color, solid colored socks. But the first one is a pug. How adorable. And then, I don't know what this dog is called. But so cute. And then I have these socks that are like jeans. How? <laughs> Freaking funny. And then I have some, they call it fake socks, but I think they're just kind of like ankle socks. But um, another dog that'd be hugging my feet and a husky. So in Korea, they make really high quality socks and it's super cheap. I remember the last time I went, I bought socks for like a dollar and it's really great quality so every time my mom goes there I ask for socks. <laughs> um, and then my boyfriend's socks, they're less exciting but he has like dark gray, gray and black. And then in addition to that, so these are like ankle socks for him, he has long work socks. Yeah, lots and lots of socks. Um, and then another thing that I always have to get in Korea are pantyhose or stockings. But I think these are more pantyhose because they're um, like thinner. But 
I get these huge packs and they last me many years. And I still have the pack that I bought from, when did I go? 2014 or 15. Um, and I still have, basically it looks like a brand new pack, but my mom bought me two more. And I think there's like 30 or 50 in here and they only cost like ten dollars it's so cheap and here in america you can get one at target for like six or seven or eight dollars so i just feel like that's a waste of money and like my bulk size pantyhose all right so the next thing she kind of went crazy on are phone cases and you'll see some of the phone cases are already out of the boxes because we put it on our phones yesterday so in these two cases are empty and I'll show you um, it was these two phone cases this one is mine and this one is my boyfriend's um, and this one I am using right now so I decided to put a little pop-up tab thing on it to make it easier for me but why I like this so much is because you can put your credit cards or um, money in here and go running or just make errands without having to carry a wallet. So this is the phone case that I'm using right now. The other two phone cases, um, I feel like the design on this is adorable. My mom said it's a couple's phone case. So one says Matilda and the other says Leon. But the cool thing about this too is it opens up so you can put stuff in it. It doesn't look like it, but you can. So here's the phone case. And then if you oops, open up this way, so if your phone's in here, you can put like credit cards and receipts or whatever. It's kind of like a booklet and then just pop it back in. And then yeah. Um, okay, so this, I didn't know what it was supposed to be, but it's a cat. And it's for your dishes, so this side is kind of like scrubby and this side is soft. Kind of adorable. She said um, the reason why she got this for me is because it stands up on the counter versus like laying down. So bacteria um, will grow less on this and all dry out. Um, ooh, so we ate these yesterday, <laughs> but not all of it. Um, some candy. Look how cute these are. So this one was hard candy, just kind of fruity flavors, and this one, it reminded me of um, those chocolate rocks you can get in like San Francisco for like Alcatraz or touristy stuff. Um, okay, so this one is adorable, and it's, I have a funny story up behind it, but so it's a little crossbody purse. And it has a Boston Terrier on it because I have two Boston Terriers. And I feel like this is going to be perfect for like taking them out for walks. It's such a cute denim material with a cute Boston Terrier on it. And there's like a pocket in here and there's like a foam pocket back here. But I was looking at this last night and if you can't tell, the word Terrier is spelled incorrectly. <laughs> so... I mean, I don't think anyone's gonna notice. I'm still gonna wear it around, but I just thought that was kind of funny. It's like terrier. <laughs> um, ooh, okay. So this is a little handheld mirror. And it has a cute little girl on the back. That's adorable. Um, ooh, and then she got me Spoons and chopsticks made out of wood. I'm digging it. And then also some cookware made out of wood. Yay! Um, and then she bought me some makeup brushes. So this one is kind of like a travel size makeup brush made out of bamboo and I don't know. Um, and this one is just your typical brush. And I'm not sure what the interesting thing about it. I think the interesting thing about this is this case around it to protect the bristles because in here it 
provides two more of these mesh type covers. So if you take it off, you use the brush, and I think you put it through the bottom like this, and then you just cover it, and it keeps the bristles kind of nice and clean and away from anything that's in my makeup bag, so yeah. <laughs> Um, lastly, these are my favorite things from what I got. Um, dog clothes. Oh my gosh. It's perfect for my Boston Terriers. <laughs> so let me put this on them and show you if they like it or not. <laughs> Hi, beautiful. Do you like your new shirt? Hmm? Oh, you look so good. Glenny. Hi, baby. Hi. So another thing I got um, are traditional Korean dresses for Otto and Clementine. And look how adorable it is. So this one is the guy one, and this one is the girl one. And these are called hanbok in Korean. Um, and you would wear them every New Year's and also when you're getting married. Um, and they're just like your traditional Korean dresses and I feel like this is going to be their Halloween costumes just because they are so precious. Otto. Hi cutie pie. Hi princess. Hi princess. And I have one more thing I have to share. And some of you might be grossed out, but this is my favorite snack. Um, it's dried fish and squid, but, oh, it smells so good. So she got me dried shredded squid, and I love dipping this in mayo and red pepper paste. Oh, yum. Um, this is dried file fish. It's flattened and dried like this. It's so yummy. In Korean, it's called chipo. Um, and lastly, this one I'm not too familiar with, but I think it's dried pollock. I could be wrong, but it's really yummy. I had some yesterday, all three of them actually, and I had a tummy ache because I ate so much of it. Um, and I feel like it goes so well with red wine. All right, guys. So thank you for watching this video and checking out what my mom bought me from South Korea. If you like videos like these, please subscribe below. Thank you.